We are in the early days of the 16th century in Northern Europe. The air is heavy with dread and superstition. Corruption is rife in the feudal system and the church. The apocalyptic nature of war, famine and epidemics seems to herald the end of the world. Amid this medieval gloom, science and knowledge struggle to gain the upper hand over religious belief. The church and vengeful justice in the service of God govern the people by fear. This era, while so distant from our own, is no less fascinating. Through new printing technology, pictures and ideas are spreading rapidly. New worlds beyond the seas have been discovered, and from the south of Europe, the early signs of a moral, spiritual and artistic renaissance are appearing. But yesterday, as today, major upheavals are always a concern for both governments and people alike. In the southern Netherlands, in a town called Serdogenbosch, one of the most important centers in the Duchy of Brabant, along with Antwerp and Brussels, an artist named Hieronymus Bosch has his studio. And here, every day, he creates his own world with its own rules, employing brilliant technique in the service of a symbolic world populated with strange and fantastic creatures. Bosch's deranged imagery is a unique pictorial creation that reached its zenith with a work entitled The Temptation of Saint Anthony. What do we see? An altarpiece intended for a church. The triptych, an oil painting on wood panels, measures 2 meters 30 wide and 1 meter 30 high. Closed on ordinary days, the exterior of the shutters is painted in grisaille. In keeping with religious tradition, they bear two scenes from the Passion of Christ. To the left, his arrest in the Garden of Gethsemane,